Reason number eight, internal conflicts. Uh, an internal conflict is when a person desires two opposite things at the same time. For example, I want to be beautiful, but I don't want to give up on sweet things. I want to be beautiful, but I love hamburgers and french fries. I want to be slim, but I don't want to go to the gym. I want to be confident person in myself. I want to develop confidence, but I don't want to work with a therapist. I'm going to listen to free lectures. I'm going to um, think about it, but I'm not going to do exercises and I'm not going to go and uh, uh, participate in workshop. Only theory. The inner conflict uh, is between your id and your ego. Ego, sorry, ego. And if you did not see the second webinar, which was last Thursday, where I was talking about four stages of childhood trauma, I highly recommend go and watch it because uh, I was talking a lot about id and ego, about the uh, evil and an angel who are sitting on your shoulders and uh, telling you uh, opposite things. So who are those two parts? Who are those two parts who are conflicting with each other? The first part is your consciousness. The part that's saying, I want to lose weight, I want to be beautiful, I want to achieve goals. So your logical part, your conscious part. And the second part is your unconscious part, is your subconscious part. And something that you don't know yet about yourself, something that uh, you don't realize. Uh, it can be your inner child, and if uh, your inner child creates an inner conflict, then it's going to sound something like this. I don't want this. I'm tired. I, I don't know why. Uh, I just don't want to do it. Uh, like I just don't. So when um, you have a desire, but you cannot logically explain your desire, like, why did you eat uh, an extra piece of pizza? Like, I don't know. I just, I just felt that I wanted or I did not even notice it. Then this is your inner child. The inner child does not need explanation. The inner child does not want to explain. So the inner child mm, creates some actions that does not make any sense, any logical sense. <clears throat> of course, there is a reason why your inner child eats this extra piece of pizza. But uh, because this is uh, in your subconscious, you cannot understand that part. You cannot connect with this part. And second um, element that can create uh, this inner conflict is your fears and your old beliefs. For example, uh, the belief can be like this, uh, women, Thin women, slim women are not happy. They uh, do sport every day. They, they are on a diet all the time. They are pretending that they are happy and they are pretending that they like salads. But in reality, skin people are not happy. They are torturing themselves. And this might be a belief that uh, you have deep inside of you. So no matter what you do, you're not going to lose weight. Uh, another belief might be that a uh, healthy food is terrible. I, I do not believe that healthy food can be tasty. I do not believe that you can feel uh, satisfaction with healthy food because healthy food is all about broccoli, carrots, and salads and um, some uh, boring uh, things. And it's, it's not going to make me feel good. I'm not going to feel energy. I'm not going to be satisfied. So healthy food is not tasty. Uh, the third belief that you might have is my life is already difficult. So why should I suffer more? Uh, food is at least something that I can really enjoy. Uh, that's something that really makes me happy. So why should I sacrifice? Why should I suffer more? Here, what can you do? Um, free tip number eight. Uh, think about uh, the inner conflicts that you might have. And uh, 
try to write down maybe 20 25 statements why it's hard for you to lose weight what are the reasons uh that you cannot lose weight and when you have like 20 25 statements you can go over them and see what things are from similar or what things are kind of repeated and then you can identify your inner conflict once you're gonna bring your inner conflict to your conscious level once you're gonna be aware of it you can work with it I want to share with you eight signs of an inner conflict uh, sign number one constant feelings of sadness and or depression if uh, nothing is pleasing you um, if you cannot remember when was the last time you felt joy if you uh, haven't been happy for a while then uh, you have an internal conflict the second sign uh, of uh, the inner conflict is feelings of laziness or loss of interest if you feel lazy to start new things if uh, even if something that you really really like but when you start it, you lose interest uh, in two days and three days so quickly you lose your interest quickly uh, this is uh, the sign of an inner conflict the third sign uh, if you feel angry all the time most of the time uh, people who feel angry uh, a lot uh, usually means that they live uh, by other people's rules. When uh, a person cannot create boundaries, when a person cannot create rules, when you have to follow other people' rules, advice, uh, then you feel angry. And this anger can be towards other people or towards yourself. Uh, sign number four unfulfilled desires uh, for example a woman wants to build a, a career she wants to be successful and at the same time she is dreaming about a family with three kids and uh, she wants to be a good mother and she wants to have her career and in order to be a good mother you have to spend time with your kids you have to dedicate yourself to your family and in order to have a successful career you have to spend time on your business and you have to dedicate to your to yourself to your business so this is your um, inner conflict unfulfilled desires when you have two desires that uh, you cannot um, fulfill at the same time uh, sign number five not enough time uh, when a person saying something like I want this 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 and I also want this for example a person saying I want to change my career I want to travel I want to find um, a soulmate I want to learn how to surf I want to learn new language I want to, um, to uh, maybe I want to do hiking more so when person wants to do several things and he doesn't have enough time this is an internal conflict this internal conflict will um, immobilize you and you will go to the refrigerator you will be drawn to to food and you will eat more than you need to uh, sign number six lack of new desires uh, when you don't know, uh, when you don't have any desires, when you don't really know what's gonna, what, what things are gonna make you happy, and maybe uh, things that made you happy before is not does not bring joy anymore. Uh, this is the sign of the inner conflict. Uh, sign number seven: fatigue or lack of energy. When you have an inner conflict you always uh, feel tired you um, have to spend a lot of energy in order to suppress your inner conflict um, that's why you feel uh, tired you feel fatigued and lack of energy because your inner conflict is killing you from inside so if you wake up in the morning by uh, and by 2 p.m you feel tired then this is a sign of an inner conflict and the sign number eight is psychosomatic uh, when we have an inner conflict our body and we don't do anything with this conflict we don't work on this conflict our body becomes uh, to react 
we have muscle scrum, we have high blood pressure, we have low immune system, we have a lot of headaches, and um, this is psychosomatics. Our body always uh, give us some signs that something is wrong with us, something is wrong with us. And if you feel stress, anxiety, and inner conflict all the time, then you will have effect on your body. And your inner conflict uh, is stopping you from moving forward. Extra weight or extra fat is your suppressed energy. It means that you have a resource. You have a lot of energy. Fat is your resource. You have a lot of energy. You have a lot of energy inside of you, but you're not using it. And if you're not using it, one day it might be too late. Uh, so everything comes from our childhood and therefore you need to heal your inner child. You have to fulfill your inner child with love, care, support and help him to feel protected. So tip number nine is uh, try to remember what did you do uh, in when you were a child. Maybe you liked to run, maybe you loved drawing, maybe uh, you love dancing, watching cartoons, create a list that will help you to connect with your inner child. And in our childhood, we were pleased, we were, we were happy, and uh, we had a lot of things that made us, um, that bring uh, joy to us. And food, ice cream, it was only one part of uh, this list. And in, uh, in, when we were children, we had imagination and we could create a happy place for us. So we had a lot of emotions. And it's very important to connect with this inner child, to bring joy back, to bring happiness back. And uh, that's why uh, I'm um, offering you to create this list of childhood uh, things that made you happy.